we're here in uh, Temecula again to try out another restaurant. It's actually right next to Be Good that we were here on episode three or four, I believe. Right across the street from it. I actually saw my cousin come here yesterday. Her food looked amazing. And I was like, I want to give this place a shot for myself. So on we go. addiction thing and it looks right up my alley. I love chunks of garlic and things. I like these kind of like sun-dried tomatoes when they're in things. I don't really like balsamic vinegar but that cream cheese really helps balance that out. That's delicious. half the taco into the second taco and now I still have two full ass tacos and I already ordered two so now I have four tacos on top of literally everything else we ordered now let's see how this is it's got like a spicy sauce onto it really mild taste delicious public house initially a little pricey but that quickly changed when they brought out the dishes because the servings are massive you can easily buy one thing and share it uh, I got these pork tacos what did you get Jazz? It's called the uh, millennial pork belly toast thick pork belly slices on top of my bread and to drink I just got Pliny the Elder I always wanted to try it and they had it there so I got it it's very like crisp and citrus and refreshing Starbucks two miles from our house that has like a dog wall of pictures when you take your dog to go get a puppuccino so hopefully they take a picture of Estrella she's the one that notices it and hopefully she enjoys her puppuccino I don't know. we've never given her sweets we haven't given her any sweets right maybe she won't like it maybe she will we'll see it's a bummer they didn't take a picture of her I don't know if that, well the wall was pretty full so I don't know if they just stopped doing it but it would have been cool to have her on there but I'm worried to give it to her in the car I don't want her to blast poop all over the car so I'm probably gonna wait a bit until we give it to her Fourth of July, I try and get some pictures of James with some kind of patriotic symbol, either the flag or some fireworks or something. And today, uh, we dressed her up as Rosie the Riveter, and uh, we're gonna take some pictures of her that way. And she looks absolutely adorable. You look so very cool, James. I am. You know? <laughs> give me, give me, show me the muscles. So we were invited to go see the fireworks with uh, my cousin. I was going to get a cool time lapse of it. Unlike a noob, I left my memory card in my laptop from editing the photos of James as Rosie the Riveter. I was editing them and we immediately just 
we're told that it's hard to find parking, so we like bolted out of the house and I completely forgot my memory card. So the footage of the fireworks can come from my phone, which isn't half bad actually. But then we saw some dude launch his drone up and I was assuming that we're gonna be like at a park and there's gonna be a lot of people there everywhere, but there isn't. We're like on some boulevard. I could have totally launched a drone like this guy did and gotten some cool eye level of the fireworks. Next time, now I know better, but see you guys. Number five. <laughs> <laughs>